Hey everyone, my name is Justin and today we're going to do a full review on the Mountain Laurel Designs Exodus Backpack. So the Mountain Laurel Designs Exodus Backpack is a great piece of gear overall. To me, it's a near perfect uh, design for the ultralight hiker. It only weighs about 16 ounces in total weight. Now, it's able to be that low because of two things. First of all, it's a frameless backpack, and then also the material that it's made out of. It's a mix between Dyneema and nylon called Dyneema X fabric. Now with ultralight backpacks, you're always concerned about whether they're durable. With my personal experience over two years of having this backpack, being on long distance hikes and on short distance hikes, it's held up very well. It's very durable. It's been hit by branches. It's been scraped on rocks and it still has no holes, no tears or anything like that. So I uh, couldn't be more happy in that regard. Also, as far as capacity, it's about 58 liters in total. Um, 40 liters being in the main compartment area. Uh, so plenty of space for gear, food, or whatever, even a, a bare canister. And then on the side here, you have uh, two, um, two and a half liter water bottle holders. And so plenty of room to um, have access to your, your water. And my favorite part of the backpack is this rear pocket. It's five liters. And if you have any gear that you need quick access to, you can put it right in here. Also, let's say it rains during the night and your tent's all wet. Well, if you put it in your pack, it would take forever to dry. Well, you can use this pocket and slide it right in here and it'll dry a lot quicker. Also, you have uh, an extension collar here. It gives you about eight liters of additional room for, for gear or whatever on those extended trips. So let's say you go on a shorter hike and you don't need the full capacity of 58 liters. Well, you can do what I have here and cinch it down to about 40 liters. So it, it's nice to have that flexibility also. So up here we have our uh, closure system. Uh, Mountain Laurel Designs refers to it as the dry bag roll top closure. And a lot of companies are going with this design. And as you can see, it's very easy to, to use to open and close. And then you have that uh, buckle there uh, to really cinch things down. So a very nice design. And I personally think every backpack should have this. Now total weight capacity uh, for this backpack is about 25 pounds. If you go above that, it starts to get a little uncomfortable. So that's pretty typical for uh, frameless backpacks. And on my last hike, I actually maxed it out to 25 pounds and that was a seven day hike and it, it was perfectly fine. So if you do max it out, don't be afraid that it's gonna be uncomfortable. It certainly will be fine for you for the most part, at least in my experience. So that leads me to the next area of the pack, and that's the shoulder straps and also uh, the hip belt. So with the shoulder straps, they're, they're perfectly wide to evenly disperse uh, the weight. And then also they have a good amount of foam here. So I've never had an issue with these, you know, bugging me and, and causing my shoulders to, to get all scraped up or anything like that. I could not be more uh, happy uh, with, with how these things are and also um, the hip belt. Now the only thing that I will have to say negative about this pack is that there's no air ventilation between you and your backpack. It sits right up against you. So in warmer months, it'll cause your back to sweat a little bit. But you know, that's not a deal breaker for me because I understand it's an ultralight backpack and so if they would add something to to give better ventilation, it would increase the weight. So, you know, it's all what your priority is. If, if you want to be more comfortable, maybe you want to go with another pack. If you want an ultralight backpack, this is definitely um, one you would want to consider if you're on the market for one. So there you have it guys, a full review on the Mountain Laurel Designs Exodus backpack. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And 
If you like this video and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you on the trail, guys.